Yo, stop what you're doing right now. Go into the comments and tell me what mobile device you guys are rocking and I will comment back and tell you if it is good enough to run Apex Legends Mobile. Yes, welcome back to another video guys and the topic of this video is what devices will be able to run Apex Legends Mobile when it comes out. I'm gonna make this intro short and sweet. Let's get straight into it. But you already know what time it is. Meme time, baby. Let's go. Yo, stop what you're doing right now. Go into the comments and tell me what mobile device you guys are rocking. And I will comment back and tell you if it is good enough to run Apex Legends Mobile. Yes, welcome back to another video, guys. And the topic of... Yes, welcome back to another video, guys, on the upcoming Battle Royale game, Apex Legends Mobile. I've been seeing a ton of comments wondering if your old mobiles that was handed down from your mum to your brother, to your sister, to your dog, and then finally you will be able to run Apex Legends Mobile. Luckily, I've done a lot of heavy research, and I'm going to be breaking down everything in this video for you guys today. Before I do, though, make sure you are following me on Trovo, where I do daily live streams on mobile games, and I play with subs all the time. So if you guys want to play with me and play some fun-ass mobile games, link in the description right now. Now, getting into it, guys, I'm going to start by showing this image on screen here, which is an image that was posted a while back that was leaked from a Respawn developer showing some of the mobile phones that will run a Apex Legends Mobile. If you guys see your phone on there, then well done, you're in luck. And before I go ahead with the main chunk of this video, guys, I want to give my personal opinion on the company Respawn. Respawn are one of the largest gaming companies around who have produced amazing AAA games like FIFA, FIFA Mobile, Titanfall, Apex Legends PC and console. Each one of these games have been fully optimized to run on numerous devices, especially FIFA Mobile, for example. I tested FIFA Mobile when it came out on one of the oldest Android devices and processors I could find, and it ran perfectly. So from Respawn's standpoint, they are going to want to make sure their game is fully optimized, even on the oldest processor. Because if you think about it, guys, the more people that they can get to play their game on every device possible, the more revenue is going to be generated for the company. So it's a win-win for everyone. But like I said, I've done some heavy research and I want to start by looking at the recent playtest that happened in Apex Mobile. Respawn were looking for playtesters that either had a Pixel 3 or higher or a Samsung Galaxy S8 or higher. Both of these phones have a Snapdragon 835 processor, which for gaming nowadays is sort of around the medium level of gaming. And just to compare, the latest Snapdragon available on the market right now is the Snapdragon 888, which can be found in the latest Samsung Galaxy, the S21. So this, guys, is already good news that Apex Mobile can run on medium sort of CPU devices. But the real question is, will it run on your older devices? I've actually shown this article before to you guys, but this is from a legit news website called IGN India, who look like they uh, were interviewed with a Respawn developer. And basically, they stated that the minimum requirements for an iPhone would be the iPhone 8. And for an Android, you can have anything as low as a Snapdragon 625. So go ahead and search up your phone online right now find out what you're rocking or better yet go into my video comments and below and just reply whatever phone you've got comment below what phone you've got and i'll reply with either a yes or a no now we all know already that respawn have partnered up with tencent one of the biggest mobile companies in the world who have produced pubg mobile alongside activision as well as call of duty mobile now they're working on the apex mobile project with respawn so all the information i've just given you will basically be irrelevant because Tencent actually created Call of Duty Mobile alongside Activision and go ahead and open up your settings in Call of Duty Mobile right now. Download the app, open up the settings. If you look in there, there are more than enough options to change the graphical settings on there. So you've got nothing to worry about, guys. If you really are rocking your old grandma's flip phone, you're still going to be able to play the game on the lowest FPS and the lowest graphical settings. But obviously, it's going to run worse. So what I would suggest you do is get up right now from your seats while you're watching this video. Get out of your pit of a room. Walk out the front door. Go to your nearest mobile store and buy a decent freaking gaming phone, you peasant. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm only kidding. But as a whole, from this video, I wouldn't worry too much if you really can't afford the latest gaming phones. Respawn and Tencent are going to be making Apex Mobile very similar to Call of Duty Mobile graphics. And you already know how good your device can run on Call of Duty Mobile, so don't stress. Again, just download it. If you want to know how good your mobile is, download Call of Duty Mobile. 
see how your mobile device runs on there. If it runs well, you're going to be able to run Apex Legends Mobile while, so don't worry. Now, fortunately, no more news regarding the soft launch other than the next press conference, which is on May the 11th in just under two months' time. But again, for this video, go into the comments, tell me what phone you're rocking, and I'll try to answer every single comment I can with a yes or a no. We're getting more and more excited, guys. The soft launch is literally just around the corner. You guys are getting excited. I'm seeing the subs and views go up. Again, I would like to sort of see a trailer or something before the end of April. I think that's definitely on the cards. If not in April, then definitely in May we're going to find out something because we've got the next EA press conference on May the 11th where they'll obviously talk more about Apex Mobile, probably in more sort of in-depth as well. So I'll be streaming that event. So saying that, make sure you hit a like and make sure you subscribe and keep up with anything news related to Apex Mobile. Follow me on my Trovo in my pinned comments below to catch my daily live streams where I play mobile games with you guys, Call of Duty Mobile, Stumble Guys, stuff like that. And that's basically the end of the video. So hopefully I'll catch you in the next one when the soft launch will be here. Fingers crossed. Peace.